Hello everyone, and welcome. I'm Kev, and today, well, I've got some amazing news to share. If you're like me and the entire Halo community, you hate the armor core system in Halo Infinite. So I got some great news. They are going to slowly get rid of it. What? This is amazing. <laughs> I know. Finally, the surprised Pikachu meme comes in handy because 343 has been able to process that we don't like what they have set up for us with the armor core system. After having played a fair chunk of the MCC this weekend, I've come back to Halo Infinite and I've just looked at the Armor Core customization system just like, know your fucking place, trash. I hate it. It's terrible and I couldn't be happier to see it go. Because, let's be real here, it's a stupid system, it makes no sense, and I think that it didn't really generate as many waves when they came out and said this as it should have. The only YouTuber I know who spoke about this was Footed Ghost, uh, and yeah, he makes great content, another Aussie Halo YouTuber, he's an absolute lad. Go check him out, I've got a link in the description to his video as well, uh, but look, I honestly believe that this is something that is a huge step in the right direction for Halo Infinite. It has taken 343 a hell of a long time to get here, but I think that it's a bit of a running theme with everything they do. They will eventually get there, but it just takes a fair chunk of time. So this is good, and it's going to be starting off with the helmets and visors throughout Season 2, so it won't be from Season 2's release. That's the grain of salt that you gotta take it with, because there are some things that will just take more time as they start to figure things out. So we will have helmets and visors that become cross-core customizable uh, during Season 2, and then in later seasons we'll see things like chest and shoulder pieces come across, and basically everything else. The armor fractures will still be their own separate armor cores, and I can understand why they want to do that, because there are a lot of people in the community who just don't want to have those wackier armors that are very different from your typical Halo armor mixing with the normal Halo stuff. So, I can understand where they're coming from, but they did say if there's enough demand, then they may change that in the future. It would probably be a hell of a lot easier for all of you to understand if you heard it directly from the source. So here's a small clip from the live stream where Jerry Hook explains all of this. So take a look at this. Everything. We are looking to move away completely from the core system. Uh, we're trying to make that ubiquitous. So if you earn a coating, it's usable across all of those cores. Or if you earn a shoulder piece, it's usable across all those core cores. And our focus for season two, not from day one, but as we move through season two, is that your visors, your helmets, your coatings, those will be the first things that we go after. And then we'll slowly try to move everything uh, to be more ubiquitous. It gets a little harder when you take a look at, say, the Yori armor or some of the fracture cores. Um, because they do have just fundamentally different structures um, that not everything fits in. Uh, and uh, so right now we're really taking a look at the cannon cores and leaving the fracture cores. Whether you are a 343 fan or not, we all know that this is something that we have hated since the beginning of the game's launch. We all have given them plenty of feedback, and I'm not trying to say that this is them reinventing the wheel and that they're a great developer. No, I'm saying that they've admitted their mistake and they're making progress in the right direction. Did they have to make the armor core system in the first place? No, they didn't, but we already know that. We already have told them that. So let's just take the win and celebrate that we're going to get the customization system that we all want, because the older Halos certainly did that way better. But that's just about it for my thoughts. Let me know what you all think in the comments section down below. Do you think that armor fractures should be cross-customizable, or do you think that they should remain separate? Let me know. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. It's all part of the great journey. So join me. I've been Kiv, and I'll see you all on the next one.